Jeez. There's no telling where I'd be if we stayed together. She's a hell's angel now. I lusted after a hell's angel? Oh, Jesus. I would have been the only male concubine in the gang. Anyway, getting back on topic, um, what are you saying? I should get a divorce? No. I'm just saying that you should stop sleeping around behind Raz's oh, back. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that you don't want to see me anymore? I mean, is that what this is all about? You're dumping me? Would you relax? I'm not dumping you. I'm just saying that if you knew what was best for you and the life you want to lead, you'd dump me. Besides, the worst part about hypocrisy is you never know if the other person's cheating on you. All I could think of was you fooling around on me. Then I began to think of a lot of little suspicious things that you'd been doing. I mean, I became convinced that you were having an affair. I know Mitra would say it only proved that I was a hypocrite, but I couldn't help myself. I became obsessed with the idea that you were having an affair. be back in an hour. I do. Jackie's quit, so now I have to take part of her shift. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. What is this? Yeah. Anyway, guess what? Mitra came to the store just uh, just a little while ago. Mitra, I thought she'd be too busy with that book and taking all those pictures. Mm. <laughs> she was so happy. She was showing me all the pictures that she took. Uh, they are in the envelope down by, by my purse. You've got three here. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's that one. The other one is full of receipts and, I don't know, things from work. Receipts? What do you need receipts for? Well, now that Jack is gone, I'll have to do the accounting, employee deductions, all that crap. But you know what I think? I think that Mitra is in love. And I don't mean Brian. What are you talking about? She's in love with Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. I badgered it out of her in the end. She's been seeing the same guy for some time now. Oh, she's probably having the best sex she's ever had. Actually, no. <laughs> but, she says, he offers her intellectual companionship and uh, emotional support, which apparently Brian doesn't. So the sex isn't that good, huh? Apparently not. Did she say why? Uh, she mentioned something like, uh, sneaking around takes the fun out of it, something like that. So what do you think? Oh, these are great. Yeah, I, I wonder, I wonder who she's seeing. Aren't they great? Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you think it's anyone we know? <laughs> they're pretty good? Uh, I hope you didn't tell her they're just pretty good. I mean, I think she's really onto something here. This could be a major book, I mean, for its type. Okay, I told her they were really good. That's not the point. Really good? Look, why can't you be a bit more enthusiastic? I mean, she is your best friend after all. It appears that you are enthusiastic enough for both of us. Look, uh, I gotta go meet Brian. We're gonna meet at the cafe. You can stop by later if you want. sound busy. I'll come back another time. No, it's okay. Come right out. Hello? 
don't have to cover your eyes. I got a crap. Right down there. Charming girl. I know. I hear you downstairs and expect to find you sleeping with a beautiful woman. Instead, I come up here and find you sleeping with the Bride of Frankenstein. The Bride of Frankenstein. It's a great film. I was just telling Brian. They built this monster a wife with the lightning streaks in her hair. What do you do? Pick her up on Queen Street? Don't let her fix for you. I mean, what could you possibly have in common with her? Besides sex? Absolutely nothing. When she plays in a band, she's a real musician. She screams and spits at the audience. Listen, I want to talk to you about Brav. What, you having problems? Nothing. I don't know. What's wrong? What are you working on? I had a meeting with the CBC this morning. They bought my TV pilot. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Congratulations. So can I get a little read of it now? You know, maybe I can give the show a little write-up in my column. That'll be great. Since my M.O.W. went down the toilet, I could use the money. It's a good thing Mitra got that uh, picture book. It's a cop show? What do you know about narcs? Nothing, but I watch a lot of movies. That's true. This scene is from Mean Street. This one is from Taxi Driver. You know, you should put a little honesty in your work. I mean, write about something you know about, like your own experiences. My experiences are boring. Besides, watching movies is like the real thing, and the chances of getting shot are dramatically reduced. <sighs> Writing is supposed to be an exploration of our humanity, what it means to live, to feel. And to pay the rent, Oliver. That's the true meaning of writing. Listen, let me just save this and we can get out of here. I don't know, I think marriage is making Rav feel trapped. Uh, I heard her talking in her sleep last night. She said, oh God, help me. I'm trapped in a suffocating marriage. You're just imagining things. I think she's having an affair. Rav? Woman. You're just being paranoid. No, I'm serious. I mean, we argue all the time now. Really? What do you argue about? Argue about? Everything. Little things. Minuscule things. Like? Like when I proposed to her. Hey, guys. How's it going? What can I get you? I'll have an herbal lemon tea. Uh, nothing for me, thanks. Okay. I'm buying. I'll have the same. Cool.